we will talk about pros and cons for foreigners living here in the Philippines. So number one is money. It goes farther, giving you more value for your money. Now we're talking about relationship. The ability to meet a beautiful Filipina that has a traditional background and she will do everything for you. If you are moving here, I do recommend 10,000 USD dollars to cover major medical issues. At least you're secured and you don't need to worry. If you were in Valencia, there's yeah, there's 300 to 600. It depends to the house that you really want. Start from March, April, May. That's the hottest. Most foreigners only like a few Filipino dishes. And if you want to eat Western style brands, it can be very expensive. Hi guys, it's me again, Sizi Kelly, the hot mama. So for today's video, we will talk about pros and cons for foreigners living here in the Philippines. Are you guys ready? But before anything else, I would like to say thank you so much to all my subscribers, to all my supporters, because without you guys, I cannot reach this level. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates i'm so sorry about my voice yes i've been doing live stream like from monday to saturday that's my schedule for live stream guys every morning i start from 7 a.m and then i finish like 9 to 10 o'clock anyways so this pros and cons is very important for you to know Especially if you're living here in the Philippines. Because I know a lot of you want to retire here in our country. So please watch until the end, guys. Number one is money. It goes farther, giving you more value for your money. So it's very, very important to have money. Especially... If you have major problems, it's good to have savings, guys. Take note about that because we'll never know if you have an accident. At least you have money on your pocket. Do you agree with me? Comment down below, guys. Let's proceed to number two. Loneliness and depression. He can start a new life, meet new friends, start dating and have a meaningful life again i know some of you are really want to get rid of the loneliness especially in your country right if you're willing to come in the philippines and meet your future wife here maybe philippines is for you and also the people here are very kind very respectful and you would love staying in our country so come and visit philippines relationship listen the ability to meet a beautiful filipina that has a traditional background and she will do everything for you so if you're looking for a traditional filipina come in the philippines and find your filipina here and also know her background first before you date to this girl. Because as you all know, there's a lot of scammers everywhere. I just want to make sure you guys know the background of this girls. Okay? Be wise. Don't be fool. And also, don't send money right away. Travel to some amazing places in the Philippines that would cost you considerably more in your home country guys don't worry you will be comfortable here 
you will be happy here. You will be more happy, especially if you have someone. Warm climate all year. You won't have to deal with cold winters here because we don't have cold winters here. It's only rain. Rain, rain, rain. At this month, guys, it's a raining season. Month of July. July, August, even August, it's raining season or even September. Now we're talking about visa. We have a very friendly visa policy. Tourists can stay for up to three years. So if you want to stay here in the Philippines, at least you can stay here for three years. Dental and health care. Dental procedures are very cost effective. And your average doctor's appointment will only cost you on the average about 700 pesos. If you are moving here, I do recommend 10,000 USD dollars. Emergency fund to cover major medical issues. So it's very important to have this big amount, guys. At least you're secure and you don't need to worry. Last one is rent. You can rent a uh, average to nice place for $300 to $600, depending on the city. Yeah, like for example, the one in Domagetti. There's many, many apartment rent in Domagetti City. If you were in Valencia, there's yeah, there's 300 to 600. It depends to the house that you really want, okay? So at least now you know that this is the cost of living here in the Philippines. Now we proceed to the cons. Hot and humid. The Philippines is one of the most humid and hot places on planet Earth. And some expats can have a difficult time adjusting. So, of course, it's very, very important to, you know, adjust in our humidity here because, as you all know, it's really, really hot in here in the Philippines, guys. Start from March, April, May. That's the hottest month in the Philippines. Like, month of May, oh my God, it's really, really hot. Everything here is dry. Now, it's raining season, but it's just not, what I mean is, it's, it rains, but not every day. Sometimes every day, and there's a day that there's no rain at all. Like today, we don't have rain. But yesterday, we have rain. And maybe tomorrow, we have rain. So, yeah. Welcome to the Philippines. Number two, Mother Nature. We experience about 20 typhoons per year. About half make landfall we have 24 active volcanoes we are in the pacific ring of fire earthquakes are common these are just some of the natural disasters you will encounter while in the philippines to be honest guys this year is not really bad as I remember, the bad typhoon th that was 2019. And that's the time that I give birth with my young youngest son. It sucks, guys, when the mother, mother nature is really angry, you know? Because, yeah, everything was ruined. And I remember that time that we don't have electricity for many, many days, even a month. The worst part was in Bohol, Cebu, Sikihor. Here also is, I think we have like one month before we have the power here. But at that time, I was in Domagetti City because we are renting there. And guys, we are so lucky that we only have three days that we don't have electric power. Can you imagine? No power for many, many days. That's really, really sucks. But I'm glad that now, um, you know, it's been many years that we don't have those problems. So hopefully that it doesn't come again, guys. It's so sad 
to hear other people that they're struggling about the food, you know, the electric and everything. And at that time, guys, I, I also helped one of my friend from Negros Oriental because this girl helped me to take care of Ziana when she was there in uh, Manila. When Ziana is uh, six years old, guys. She was there. She studied there. And then we decided that we need to get back Ziana because... Um, I I am um, pregnant that time with my son, you know, and yeah, she's so happy that sh she has a brother now. Yeah, that was long time ago. Wow, time flies so fast, guys. Yeah. For me, it's good to help someone that who really needs our help. What I, I did on that day, guys, because I feel so bad with those people, you know, especially. I know that girl. For me, she's a family, okay? And then that's how it's my time to pay back after she taking care of Ziana. So I bought groceries. I also give some cash. I also give some clothes, the one that we don't really use. Me, I personally, I really love to help people that who really needs help. Guys. Because I know how it feels to have nothing. Food. Most foreigners only like a few Filipino dishes. And if you want to eat Western-style brands, it can be very expensive. That is, you can find it. If you are not in a major city, you may have a hard time finding what are you used to. So in the city, there's a lot of options, you know where you can eat the one that you want to eat. I know some of you really likes to try Filipino food, but a lot of you also are picky when it comes to food. So better to choose in the city, like for example, Domagetti, Cebu, Manila. Here in Sikihor, um, yeah, we have that, but it's only there in Sikihor or, or San Juan. There's many options there or we also have in Lazi, but only little. Guys, here in my, my town, it's only one restaurant that it's just open. And it's really good. The, and, and the price, it's quite fair. Population. Philippines is one of the most densely populated countries in the world. And 13 by population alone. With a land mass about the size of Arizona. And a population of 116 million, you may find yourself wanting to get away, go to a resort, somewhere quiet. Some foreigners may have difficulty with pollution if you have allergies, asthma, and other health problems. So it's very, very important to choose this the city that you want to stay what you that you want to live so um i think it's better for you to stay in domagetti or Cebu. at least there's good rentals there as long as you have enough money to pay the rent the last one is travel inconvenience we are island nation you will need to travel by boat or plane to most places of course like for example i'm from sikihor so if i want to go to dumagetti i have to get a fast bo boat or a roro when you get a fast one it takes 45 minutes but if you get a roro which is a slow boat it takes one and a half hour so you see every month for the monitoring checkup with my daughter yeah, um, we have to go to the Maggetti to do that because we don't have good hospital here in, in, in my province, guys. It sucks. And it's only in the Maggetti that they have uh, chemotherapy. That's why we do it there. And yeah, hopefully everything is okay. You know, please continue praying for that for my daughter's um, recovery. Um, I hope you like this video, guys. And if you like more videos like this, interviews Filipina, any suggestion videos, guys, just comment down below. And don't forget to hit the like button and see you in my next vlog. Bye-bye, guys.
Thank you.